in here. Yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Lydia here. So if you're new to this channel, in this channel I just usually share some of the things that I used to change my lifestyle in the past few years and occasionally share some of the fun things happening in Hong Kong like today. I'm at my favorite restaurant Africa for lunch. I think they have the best value. The lunch menu is around 500 Hong Kong dollar. They offer five courses. This is one of those restaurants they change menu quite often according to the season. And today they have a new menu. Can't wait to try. And also today the chef is here. But currently he's quite busy. Let's hope that we can get a chance to talk to him. Let's enjoy. The plus belles histoires. The plus belles histoires s'écrivent autour d'une table. The plus belles. <laughs> Hello, my favorite chef in Hong Kong. Um, this one. Start with some hot British cream inside, a crystal coffee, and lemon set. This is our starter potato puff. Try it in one bite. Mm. It's a caviar on top. The potato is quite soft inside, but it's very crispy outside. Combine it together with the caviar. And we're waiting for people to open this one for us. Here we have the second round of our premises. So we will start first with our. Yakitori Mont Saint Michel Massel that have been glazed in a peach syrup. So, how we prepare it? It's Claude Eclat Charentes. It's a specialty from south of France. Family meal where we gather thousands of mussels all together, smoke it with pine, and enjoying them gather all around. For the second premises for this lunch, we will have the lamb sweetbread nuggets. This one will be coming with the egg white geranium mayonnaise and edible flour. We will continue with our bone marrow brioche. Cook like a French toast with pigeon and caviar crust, and we'll finish with our tartatouille with the eggplant caviar, zucchini, bell pepper, and tomato. Important to finish with the ratatouille because it will give you a umami flavor important for the next course. With the ratatouille that we do is with the pineapple tomato stuffed with the ratatouille. Made it some in a kind of other version. We have the mussels with some peach syrup. Mm. It's so good. I had a peach syrup, it's a little bit sweet. The second, so pretty. I came here quite often, but I think every time there's a surprise. Freshly baked green tea, so it comes with a combination of mint fun at the bottom. All on top, you will have mint juice as well. And a mixture of some kiwi and pickled cucumber. It would be nice to have a little bit of everything, so you can start from top to bottom to get all the flavors. First dish. Very fresh green peas taste. Choose from the Bizu Japan. Mm. Underneath you have the sour cream. Mm. Our French beans from Rua Valley. Mm. Then you also have the congaree on top. Congaree is actually a German bean coming from a small town called Kita. The reason why we put on top of the oysters is because to bring out more of the flavors. What's a donburi? The German bean. So people call it as a vegetarian caviar as well. So this is the donburi? Yes. So actually we cure it with the beef sasina so overnight to absorb all the moisture before we put on top of the oysters. And the sauce we put for you was the oyster dash with the sea water, kombu, This is Japanese oyster with Japanese bean and some donburi, the plant-based caviar. It looks like caviar. Yeah. Thank you. I like how they mix the acidity into the dish. The texture is very interesting. The Japanese bean mixed together very well with the dashi and everything, and then you have different texture in your mouth. Have a zucchini tart with the base, like an apple tart tartan, upside down at the base. This one is chickpea and also almond flour. And we use three different kinds of zucchini to make the tart, topped with some lemon scent, lime scent, a little bit of the sea salt. Lastly, the tempura. This is the flour of the zucchini. Tempura style. Wow. Putting on the side, this one is the mayonnaise. Oh. The red one. The red one. I like the design. You see that it's like a shadow of a mountain or something. We pair it together with the zucchini flower temple. Mm. Everything in Africa is just so balanced and very elegant. Mm. Mm. 
slightly further for two hours and then we talk to build the ski. I think on the side is the dedicated potato, potato set inside, mixed together with some charcoal, covered with the potato espuma, and finish with the potato pink sauce, and filled with some smoky fish flavor inside. I think you're using the wrong side. I'm always confused which side. This side, right? Yes, this side. <laughs> potato. So good. Safara. It's a mushroom in Japan. Safara fish, like chili curd, and then the uh, choco, good for the skin. Cow fish, we do before. Tied with the front peach puree, very tasty. And the peach seaweed underneath. On the side, you have the sushi rice, together with some mussel. We have taste before the, the premises. Mussel from Sonsumo, French mussel. And we have the mussel oil. The Japanese fish. This is the peach puree. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. The sushi rice with muscle. This is also very good. Big speciality of France, as we know, like the movie Atatui. Here we have the pineapple tomato coming from France, wrapped into kombu seaweed. Then you will have some garlic, uh, sage, and thyme. So to uh, aromatize a bit uh, this tomato. And inside, so now I can't really let you discover, we're gonna prepare it for you, cutting on the side. So you will have a nice view of different layers and how we compose the ratatouille. The most wonderful dish is in pineapple tomato en ratatouille. So inside you can see the different layers between the zucchini, the bell pepper, the tomato. It smells so good. Yes, actually the smell is most and more amazing than anything else. Because the first day that they were starting to present this dish, I was walking in the kitchen and then I got caught by a picture of me and my grandmother eating a, a two together. And then I was wondering, where is that coming from? And that they were starting to, to mise en place to prepare this dish. And I felt, uh, felt very warm inside, so I hope this dish Reminds you of your childhood. Exactly. Bon appétit, everyone. The classic French dish, and it's a special today. The presentation is like a painting always. Just the color so summer. A very light, very wholesome dish. So good. So the pigeon, we are serving the breast of the pigeon. Underneath, we will find the inside of the pigeon, cooked together with some hazelnut. Putting on the side, little brown, with the vinegar grazing. Oh, we have some hazelnut for the crunchy and finish with the sauce, which is the pigeon sauce, like parmesan here. But this one is warm temperature. We don't do any mashed potatoes, we do plum instead. So underneath, pigeon like confit with some plum and also hazelnut. This is our main dish, is the pigeon. This is like everything pigeon dish, I think. It's very soft and tender. I think the way that they do it very elegantly removes the strong taste of pigeon but also keep something that you know that it's pigeon This is also made with pigeon I at the bottom and on top is some peach This is so good, more acidity flavor and then you combine together with the pigeon the strong flavor here by the perfect first t-shirt, t-shirt about apricot The left hand side is the hot apricot combo which is seasoning with some verbana Putting on the top with some fresh almond and lime set Right hand side is apricot sauce It's our first dessert Super good, some fresh almond You can basically taste the whole spectrum the natural taste of the apple and then some lime zest on top This one has been made with a buckwheat ganache uh, Fruyantine, buckwheat praline on top, we'll have our 85% dark chocolate ice cream and we finish with a caramelized uh, buckwheat seeds. It's good, sorry, to make desserts with a nuts flavor but without going on the sweet side. This is our second dessert buckwheat ice cream. Nice. Three layers. After the previous sour taste of the apricot, this one gives a nice balance of the chocolate taste. Very nice lunch here. The 24. 24. So for today lunch, you will have a selection of three little 24 for making sure that we go home full and happy to show our generosity. It's also something that we like at the end of the meal, you know, sometimes we enjoy a coffee, we talk and we enjoy little snacks. Like appetizer, but for the end of the meal. French people, they can start their lunch at 12 and finish at 6, 7. That's why you will always need to be careful. If you go with French people, always take a day off. The end of this lunch, we will have a nice melon from Charente. On the side, our madeleine with the Moscow bar sugar that you can enjoy. 
enjoy with our salted caramel or milk chocolate. Finally, we'll have our hazelnut bonbon. Thank you.